Fuji Classic. All right, that could be a few bucks. Most likely a lot of Department 56 stuff. That's what it looks like. And that is good. That is really nice. I like that. Do you see how it's got like the kind of like chiseled, almost like hand carved look? It's one place setting every day. Nope, that's not what this is. Ooh, this looks like some old stuff. Ooh, whoa, look at this. This is a nice little box right here. What is this right here? Look at this. That's beautiful. That is all Hallmark ornaments. That's crazy. $444 worth of ornaments right here. What? She paid five, almost 500 bucks for this guy right here. Wow. I'm pretty sure I can see that with my eyes. 14K. I think this is a gun case though. Wooden Noel candle train. Let's make sure it's in here. Donate. Oh, look at this. Another Walt Disney thing. Feels empty though. Okay, another ball. A's ball. Yeah, this one's empty. I can just tell. It's too light. Dang, looks nice too. Nah, it's too light. I'm not gonna open it. This thing here is some sort of a sweater organizer. <laughs> Those are vintage sweaters. We'll donate all of that. I'm not going to donate this sweater organizer though. That one looks shot. Okay. I went through all those sweaters. Nothing super interesting until now. Kuji. Kuji Classic. All right. That could be a few bucks. I think the brighter, wilder colors are more desirable. But that, that definitely looks older. No date on it. It's beautiful though. Very nice. Next box. This one says spare room. PBO. What does that mean? I think there's another one up here that says PBO. PBO. Do you guys know what that means? I think we're about to find out. But if you guys know, comment below. PBO. Do you know? Because I don't. Hmm. Mm -mm. That's not good. What is this? This styrofoam. What the heck? Okay, maybe that's just to go in between these really expensive pieces right here. <laughs> right? That's what I'm thinking. Expensive pieces. Come on. There's a lot of uh, packing peanuts in here. Oh. Blue Danube. 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 Blue Danube. Danube. I forget how to pronounce it. Oh, these are in here. Every box we found with the blue Danube. Danube. It's been empty until now. These are there's stuff in here. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, most of this box was packing peanuts and these void fill things here. But you know what? That's good. I'm going to keep those. We'll reuse those. They will not go to landfill. Huh, that one's sealed. This is coasters. Oh, this looks nice. Okay. It's, I mean, it's in beautiful condition. It looks like it's brand new, actually. Number 120, footed compote, 12 inch. Huh, okay. That's a nice piece right there. Candle stand, this one also is sealed. This one's also sealed, napkin rings. Oh, we got a nice set here. We found like two or three boxes that were empty so far. Candle stand, I don't even think I showed them all. Uh, napkin rings, these are definitely not empty. There's some weight to them. This looks like a little trivet or something. Hot plate, yeah. Very nice, you guys. Okay, I think this is decent stuff right here. I think this is uh, got a little bit of, bit of value, but not super, super big. Not super big value, but it's got a little bit of. So PBO, interesting. I don't know. I still don't know what PBO means. Okay, I've got some more in here. A candle holder. This looks like some sort of a vase, but maybe it goes with it. See if this sheds any light. Whatever it is, $205 right here. And that was probably a while ago. 04. Not that long ago. Here's the prices in 04. Two hot plates, 20 bucks. One coaster set, 20 bucks. Two sets of four napkin rings, 47 bucks. Two sets of candle lamps, 36. That's what this is gonna be. Two candle lamps. $18 each, $36. Footed compote was $66. So that piece there is the money. 
but all the other stuff's gonna add up pretty quick too that's a nice uh, that's a nice find right there all right next box this one is the one is right in the couch there it says villages most likely a lot of department 56 stuff and that's what it looks like and that is good let's see what we got Somerset Valley Church that's a beautiful piece over a hundred dollar value okay seventy five dollars right here so I don't know what that's about but I'll take seventy five we got a couple empty boxes they seem to use that as void fill okay busy railway stations some little figurines winter sleigh ride town crier and chimney sweep town square carolers Dickens Village JD Nichols toy shop McShane Cottage Wow, there's a lot in here. Scrooge and Marley Counting House. That's neat. <laughs> That's neat. That's not neat, though. There's a little base from someone. 30 bucks, whatever it was. I'm going to have to find... It says set of three. I'm going to have to find who that broke off of. Holiday Travelers and a Peaceful Glow on Christmas Eve. Ashwick Lane Hose and Ladder. Oh, nice. A little fireman stuff. Very good. Another void fill. Staghorn Lodge. Nice. There's a few more little pieces floating around in here. $3.50 on the wood pile. A couple trees. There's a bunch of trees there. Fire Brigade of London Town. That's a $70 piece right there. Very nice. $70 new. I don't know what it is today. Dickens Village Series The Grapes Inn. $120 on this piece. Yikes. Okay, that was a nice little find, guys. This stuff will put, most likely either be put into large lots and sold on our live auctions, or they'll be put up on eBay in separate pieces. I'm not sure exactly what. I kind of prefer eBay just because then buyer pays shipping on these, but I don't know. We've done both. We've done both because we have found these a few times before. Okay, very light box here. This actually may have never been opened. Never was opened before. How funny. What do we have? Oh, a lot more lot. That's awesome. These La La Lootsies. So the last one we found was in a box like this. Brand new. Never opened. I listed for 50 bucks. A La La Lootsie is a little bit nicer than these. What's this? La La Lootsie backpack. All right. These La La Lootsies apparently are somewhat collectible too. I don't know what they were buying these for. They're, they had grandsons. So. Okay, next box. So spare room, mix of kids' toys and picture frames. Well, picture frames, boo. Let's see what kind of kids' toys they got. How about some Star Wars toys, yo? That'd be great. That'd be great. No, I'm not seeing Star Wars, but i got some more vintage stuff, then. What's this? Okay, little cards, vintage cards. These are all brand new, too. We might auction those. We do auction off stationery and cards and note cards and stuff. New old stuff is great. Yeah, these are also new old stock right here. iPhone 4. <laughs> Gift bags, brand new. Some decorations here, brand new. Sports chalet, here's a box, brand new. Never opened. Oh, it's so fun. It's just like shopping on Amazon, only I don't have to pay for it. <laughs> that is probably not something I need, but let's see what it is. Ooh, that's a nice hat. Oh, that's a really nice hat. Look at that. Brand new. Yeah. I like that. Men's Giants Platinum Classic Gray. Large, extra large. Alright. Take that. That's sweet. Oh. Brand new sealed. Box is a little bit crushed right here, but that's a brand new sealed Monopoly game. I don't think it'll have too much value, but the ones that we found before, we found two Elvises and one Major League Baseball. I listed them for 40 bucks each. So those were good finds. Hardy Boys. Yeah, this is interesting. Got some more stuff in here. Dear Santa, we got a big cookie plate right here. Okay, now we like this right here. Like this right here. That's a Matchbox, brand new, sealed. Hot August Nights, 1997, so it's vintage. And this is signed by somebody. I don't know who, but that's an interesting piece right here. Oh, it's this guy. That's a live ink signature right there. That's cool. A couple more Hallmark get, uh, keepsake ornaments here. Those are good to go. This is a little Thomas Kincaid. A little framed print there. That's a, a rather nice. There's a little die cast uh, Corvette Maestro. 
That's neat. A little dusty, so that means it was displayed somewhere. Phone system. Right, here's the rest of the box of that phone system. Sealed Play-Doh, donate. Another phone, donate. Crayons, donate. And a couple things of butter warmers. Donate, I know, surprise. You probably didn't guess I was gonna say that. Donate. What the heck, this is another sealed box. Wait, maybe it was resealed. Okay, maybe it was resealed. Oh, I think it was resealed. Well, I like what I see though. I like, ooh, this is nice right here. Walt Disney Showcase. Let's hope it's in here. Oh, this is nice too, right? Okay, all right. Disney Lennox, that's that box, right? This, I think, is this right here. Skiing Mickey, definitely is. We found it. We found you, Mickey. We found you. That's a beautiful piece. OCD, OCD, that is me. But only to a degree that is somewhat healthy. Countdown to Santa. This is a Hallmark piece. We've got the countdown blocks here. I know what this is. There we go. Yeah, nice. Okay, Coca-Cola snow globes. Oh, $12.95. Wow, that's not too expensive. All right, it doesn't look all funky and yellow. That's a good sign. Actually, it looks brand new. Got two of those. I am care more about this piece right here. I think this is going to be a good piece. Let's see. Mmm, whoa. That is really nice. I like that. Do you see how it's got like the kind of like chiseled, almost like hand carved look? It's definitely not. It's most likely resin, but it still has got a very cool look. Very nice. Oh uh, yeah, that's cool. That's a good piece, guys. I like it. Yeah, we'll look this piece up and uh, see what the value is. A um, Christmas kiss is the name. An Esco. Very nice. Oh man, that makes me really hope we find this piece. Papers, bags, stuffed animals. Mm. Let's see. Okay. Wells Fargo. Snowflake. Is that worth anything? I don't know. Plush. Plush, 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 plush. Here's another plush. These guys definitely collected a lot of plush. Food for families. Rayleigh's. Okay. One place setting every day. Nope. That's not what this is. Ooh, this looks like some old stuff. The Acorn. Uh, old yearbook here. 1943. Yeah, that's neat. Very old. Oh, this is a neat box. <laughs> that is a beautiful little tin right here. Horner. Nice. This is Old Spice. Ship Recovery, 1794. Old Spice. Ooh, whoa, look at this. This is a nice little box right here. These are for coins, right? Wish we, oh, I was just about to say, I wish we found the coins. And we did. Yes, we did. Come on, silver. Mm, no, 89. We'll go through them and see if we have any silvers in there. Be nice if we got all silvers, though. Nickels. And we have some old dice here. Oh, these are cool. The Holiday in Reno. I wonder if that's like a hotel called The Holiday or something. Yeah, newer. Okay, still pretty neat, though. Okay, we found some coins, right? I mean, that's cool. Oh, uh, here's another one of these. We found these before. International Brotherhood of Teamsters, blah, blah, blah. We should look this up. I'm not sure if these have value. It's the second one I found. I'll put it in the box to get back to the to the office, but I'm curious if those have any collectability. There's some old photos. Yeah, 1952, not so old. Great Grandfather's House in Mazatlan, Mexico. That's neat. Oh, that's a nice house. All right, here's another old camera. We found a few old cameras so far. Instamatic 100 Kodak. It's a baseball. I don't think there's any value here, but I don't know. <laughs> a little old stapler. Okay, what's this? Oh, oh okay. Um, that's a nice wood. Do you see that? It's all inlaid wood. We have some... Uh, it's rosaries here. Yes, this is nice. This is definitely older. Beautiful. Very old. And it feels old. I don't know what kind of stones those are. Probably just glass. Ah, oh, this piece came off. 
Where's the crucifix? Wow, oh, that's a nice, nice set. Uh, Irene. I don't see anything precious in here. Any precious metals. No gold or silver. It's definitely older stuff though. Yeah, look at that little mother of pearl. That could be some gold right there. I don't think so, but it could be. Oh, there's another one. And there's the old class photo. Wow. Girls definitely outnumbered the boys. What is this? What is this right here? These are some old pesos, Mexican money. I don't know, I see 1915 right here. That could be a very old piece of money. It, if it is that old, if this, is, if this is 1915, that's over 100 years old and it's in pretty nice condition. It's a crease right here, but that's pretty nice, so is that. Okay, this is getting really interesting. This is a nice little box right here. See twice as much in Mexico, an old tourist brochure. Prospecting for uranium. United States Atomic Energy Commission. There's an old map of Tijuana, Mexico. Another old travel book, very old travel book. I think this stuff might be worth a little something. It's an old California map, New Mexico. More travel stuff. Legal Guide for California Prospectors and Miners. Division of Mines. Jeez, this looks old too. Well, 1952. Still pretty old. It's over 70. Almost 70 years. Stainless steel here. Stainless steel here. This is Rogers. W.M. Rogers. It's a silver plate most likely. There's another old rosary. These are really neat. Ah, here's another one of those old papers. The Tombstone Epitaph. 1881 it says, but I don't think it's from that. This is just a bunch of tourist stuff. Oh, there's an old Yosemite map. That's interesting. That could have some value. There's some potential in this box. There's some neat stuff. Very interesting, and so even if there's not value, it's still got the kind of that wow factor, if you ask me. Anything old, I just love finding. Yeah, I mean, that was one of the most interesting boxes, and it came out of this papers bag and stuffed animals. You just can't go off of what it says. There's, you definitely have to look in these boxes, look very thoroughly. There's some more parts to a Kirby right here. Oh, these, look at these. These are uh, for the Beanie Babies, right? You put the tag in there, it's uh, to protect the tags. Got a bunch of them, that's cool. Look at that, Burberry. They had a Burberry purse somewhere. Hopefully, hopefully we find that, that's interesting. There's some old photos of what appears to be Disneyland. See the mouse ears. Frontier Inn. Yeah, look at the riverboat, that's still there, but a lot of that's changed. Oh, there's a teepee, I think they had those. Oh, they had a buffalo. Dumbo, that's still there. Hmm. Oh, that's a great photo. Brand new kitchen towels. And more brand new kitchen towels. This is a bag that says Hartman on it. I'm not familiar with that brand. Is that nice? Because I found this strap right here. And this also says Hartman. Doesn't seem like anything super special. I don't know, have you guys heard of this before? Hartman, I don't know if I should be on the lookout for that stuff or not. There's more Hartman bags, but this one's got something in it. Lock and keys. Got a strap, all right, it's just accessories for, maybe it's luggage or something. It's an old leather organizer here. Look at this, a gift certificate from Willow Park Pro Shop from 1997 for 26 bucks. I think that's a golf shop. That was in here, how funny. Um, I think that's a golf shop. It could still very well be there, but I don't know, 26 bucks. Okay guys, I'm, I'm looking at this. I mean, we went through like an entire wall, right? Like one layer. I still wanna see what's in here, but I'm gonna start on the next layer here. Yeah, let's get this one out right here. Oh, that guy's wedged in there. Jeez, look at that gross. You see that? So gross. Freaking rats. I guess the rats have even started chewing on this uh, 
cushion for the couch. I was hoping maybe we can give away the couches, you know, mark them for free and have someone come pick them up. But stuff like that's gonna ruin my chances. Okay. Okay. What do we got here? Alright, we got some Department 56 pits in there. That's this guy, Santa Slay. Very nice. $68 brand new. So, we're gonna be putting that in a separate box. This box is too gross. I'm not putting that in my car. There's a singing snowman. Sings and bops to Frosty the Snowman. Toy Shop Musical. Oh, we found another piece that was like this. Yeah, we did. Okay. Oh, look in here, you guys. Look at this. That's beautiful. That is all Hallmark ornaments. Entire bag full of them. Huge shopping bag full of Hallmark ornaments. Snoopy. Very, very, very nice. I mean, look at this. It looks like she bought it, picked it up, never took them out. It looks like they never were taken out. Look at this. Bought in 2009. Spent $444. I'm going to have to go through and see if all those are in there. That's crazy. $444 worth of ornaments right here. Maybe there's another. Maybe that's between all the bags. That could very well be. That could be. This looks like more. Oh, yes. Yeah, it is. This is great. No, there's more receipts. This is more. This is more stuff. Okay, $54. Okay, that, oh, that, that's what's in here. Maybe is another $54. Look at that. Brand new cards never used. Let's jump all that. Oh, all right, look at this. There it is. Style with a smile. Making the house. This is fantastic. Really good. This is a lot of pieces here. There's another bag. This is uh, uh, going to be really, really, really good for us. Gone with the wind. Wow. Huge collection here, guys. Huge collection, and we will definitely be auctioning these off. I think we'll be doing some nice lots of Hallmark, basically as many as we can fit inside of a box. And, uh, yeah, live auction. Look at that one. Gross. Gross. Okay, before I go any farther, I got to... I got to... I gotta cleanse. I gotta cleanse. I got these baby wipes. Also found in a locker. And uh, yeah, I gotta clean up first before I do anything. That's just gross. It's getting grosser. The stuff on top is the worst because that's where the rats have been running around and doing their thing. They only come down and get in the boxes really when there's food. They very very good at smelling. For the most part, they'll run across the top. They'll go from locker to locker across the top. Okay. Back to this one. Clean my hands up because you can see what's in here. Luckily, this bin it kept them out. They did not get inside here, uh, which is a good thing because here's some Beanie Babies and what I see right here, Barbie. That's the first Barbie collectibles we found. I do see this right here. This is like that Wizard of Oz box that we found earlier on. Some good stuff. Hmm. Okay, what do we got here? A little Disney plush. Dalmatian. He liked the Dalmatian because the fireman tie-in. That's good. Snake. Hissy. Rainbow. What do we got here? Ooh. Wait. This is Barbie collectibles. Oh, these are Barbies. Look at that. Wizard of Oz Barbies. 90 bucks. Barbie and Ken dolls as characters from the Wizard of Oz. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, that's actually got some cross collectability, right? Because we got Wizard of Oz collectors are going to seek it out, and also Barbie collectors will seek it out. So that's good. We get a twofer. Oh, look at this. Got a beanie baby that's by himself in this box. What? No. No way. Look at this, you guys. She paid $449 for this one bear right here. $491 with the taxes. What the heck? What? She paid five, almost 500 bucks for this guy right here. Wow. Britannia, 1997. I know we have one of these at home right now about to get auctioned tonight. Tonight. What the heck? All right, here's some of the red skeleton stuff. What's this for? The plates. We did find that one plate, right? And here's some paperwork on some additional plates. We're going to find some more. Oh, look at this certificate of authenticity. 
the owner of I Love You is a limited edition of 5,000 plates, right? Or, I don't know if it's a plate, but it says, reproduced from the original oil painting done by Red Skelton. Here's another one, Old Glory. <sighs> wow. Interesting box so far. Okay, what's this? Disney Gallery, Light Magic. Oh, this is that This is that portrait right here, the print, right? Light Magic, 1997. Okay, we got the certificate of authenticity. I think that helps the value. Okay, there's a couple more Disney Plus. Good, 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 good. Okay, Ashton Drake Galleries, yes. Dorothy. What did we find already? I forget, we found Tin Man and I think uh, Scarecrow. Yep, there's Dorothy. Dorothy. Dorothy, I think Toto might be in the basket right there. We're not going to open that right now. Okay, look at this. We got some more Annette Funicello bears. All right, there's one. Mint julep. Another Annette Funicello bear. Boom. Actually, it looks like Dorothy, yeah. A little Toto. Francis and Drake. Virginia and Joe. What do you know? And this is going to be the biggest box that we found from Annette Funicello so far. She's in a Annette uh, cheerleader's outfit. How funny. Even with the Mickey ears and all. <laughs> Alright, next box. Okay. What do we got? Oh. Man, I was hoping for Beanie Babies. I was hoping for Beanie Babies. Dang it. Yeah, what's this? Granite Brothers Jewelers. Oh, okay, maybe we got something better. Maybe we got something better. Robert. Is that gold? 14K. I'm pretty sure I can see that with my eyes. 14K. Alright, it's just a little tiny bit, but it's still 14K. I'll have to look at those closer when I get home, but I think those are both 14K. That's probably like um for the babies, right? like baby bracelets or something there's some old postcards right here princess cruise lines this is a vintage look at this oakland 1929 dewey little elementary school class photo wow let's see what's in here man there's a lot of photos in here there's some very old stuff here yeah. 1937 it says wow let's see what we got here curtis ostrich eggs Ew. oh this looks good okay this looks good i got here just some more photos old stuff some old newspaper clippings okay so what these are these bank books old bank books um, brotherhood is some kind of I don't know, union books? These are different. I don't have to put aside. We'll have to look at those a little bit closer. There's some interest there. They're old. Here's another very old bag right here. What is this? Safety matches. Oh. Nope, it's shelves. Look at that. Oh, that's a postcard. Wow. <laughs> okay. Ooh, look at this. Some old currency. Bank de France. Some old, old stuff. What's this? What is this? It's a lock of hair. Those look military. They're little buttons. Superior quality, it says. These are very nice. This is definitely from something. Look at that. Man, you guys, this is a neat little box. I may just sell this all, this whole box off in our auction. Because this is definitely something collectors like. That was a little ring box right there. Dang it. Or something. Something jewelry like. Look at that. Owl's Tavern. It looks a little seedy, doesn't it? Definitely old. Holidays, Oakland, California. Man, I love boxes like this. These are so neat. So neat. Look at this. Grand Opera Libretto. 
It's, an, it's a play or something. Wow, okay. Alright, well I made a mess of that box, but we'll put everything back and bring that home. We're definitely going to have to look through this with a little bit more time and patience. Okay, next box. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, this is one of those Marlboro towels. We've got two of them in our auction tonight. Brand new ones. This one is definitely used. It's been washed quite a bit. Seen a lot of uh, life. Maybe we'll add that to the lot. I'm not sure. I'll just put it right there. Those those towels have some value. We'll see what they auction for tonight. But on eBay, I think they sell for like 30 to 40 bucks each. A vintage Batman towel right there. Maybe there's some collector market for that. I don't know. These are some old beach towels. Alameda Fire Department. Okay, again, I think the guy was a fireman for at least part of his life. Ooh, what's this? Operation Desert Storm, 1991. How cool is that? Lee brand. It's got a little bit of, a little bit of cracking right there. It's a neat shirt though. Golden Gate Water Ski Club. Another one. Golden Gate Water Ski Club. That's an old sweatshirt. Plaza. Golden Gate Water Ski Club. <laughs> Vintage swimsuit right here, but. You hear that? That's the elastic falling apart in there. No good. All right, that's that box. We'll donate most of that. And uh, yeah, on to the next. <laughs> All right, guys. I was really hoping each of those bins, those plastic bins, was going to have more Beanie Babies, but only the top one so far. Mm, this one's too heavy. This one's too heavy. I don't think it's going to be in here. But um, yeah, we still have a lot of stuff to go through. Mm -mm. Uh, it's heavy because of this junk mill bummer 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 well there's the back wall we can see it it's getting closer or we're getting closer <laughs> and there's a i see some wood i see a lot of voids though in there start looks like it starts to not be as dense probably as they started packing they're like uh oh we're not gonna have enough room they start packing tighter but back there i see a lot of the cushions and stuff um if, you know if we were gonna sell the, the couches we'd be happy about that but i don't know if we're going to <clears throat> I've got to get home at some point to do our live auction. That's tonight. This is Monday. So at some point i got to quit. But for now, let's keep going and see if we can find a little bit more treasure. Uh, mattress pad on top there. That's not, that's not what I mean by treasure. Junk mail. Okay. see a little more Christmas ornaments in here. Uh-oh. This. This right here. This is nice. Okay. So, oh, yes. Look at that. It's a match. It's a match. We found it. I was hoping we would. That's why we put the box aside. So I don't even know uh, value. You guys are going to know before me because I'm going to look those up and put it, I'm sure, right there somewhere. Somewhere. Okay, I don't know why I'm taking that out. It's the Santa Claus Hallmark ornament. I guess I just wanted to see if he is in there for sure. And he is. And that's a good find. There's a couple more. Hallmark ornaments. Yeah. Precious moments. Mother so dear. Yeah, there we go. That's cool. I don't think we've... Did we find a precious moments before? I was just kind of thinking, guys, as I was getting back here, I was like, man, I, I'm super happy. This locker's been fantastic, but to be honest with you, like, I thought we'd find a little bit of other stuff, too. We find, keep finding more of the same stuff, which is great, but it'd just be kind of cool to find something else. You know, like, I was saying maybe a Hot Wheel collection, comic books, baseball cards. Oh, there's some more Beanie Babies. <laughs> All right. <laughs> more beanie babies it's good i'm excited i like it but yeah it just be kind of interesting to find something else like other than more beanie babies no complaining no complaining america god bless you there okay here's a big yellowed stained comforter not the treasure we were looking for before i forget it we also have to go through that that box we only opened a couple drawers we'll have to go through that and see if there's anything good in there i think i'll be taking some of the vintage craftsmen out and lotting those up for our auctions also because that is uh there's some neat pieces in there the rest of it i'll just take to the flea market oh weird very nice military cap right here kind of interesting it was in this bowl um great condition a little dusty looks like it's been displayed there's dust on top Looks like it's been on display, but uh, what what division is that from? I'm not sure. Old metal bowl. I don't know if there's any value in that. It's a, kind of a neat piece. I think it's that considered porcelain. 
Oh, <laughs> there's another brass lamp. We found one of these, like one of our first boxes, one of the first days here we found that brass lamp. Now we found another one, so there's a pair. And just like the other one, there's other goodies stuffed around the sides. This one as well. Oh, what do we have here? What do we have here? Oh, come on. Find, let's find some good jewelry. I was just saying, let's find something else. Let this be it. Mm -mm, it's not. It's not there. Boo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I know. Aren't you feeling sorry for me? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Hmm. That's neat. That's a very old mother. It's an embroidered piece. It's cool. There's a little bit more lace work or whatever it's called. Okay, we'll put that aside. That's good auction stuff. Oh, those are vintage. I said those like those two. Okay, there is, but I didn't even know that yet. That's that's neat. Neat piece. Oh, look at this. There's a vintage rolling pin. Very nice. That's got some collectability to it, too. Oh my goodness, there's a stinking washing machine right there. It's right, or a dryer, washer, dryer, I don't know. That's, I'd rather have boxes than that. What's in this one? Hmm. Okay, that's a nice blanket right there. All right. That's vintage, Raggedy Ann and Andy. Vintage blanket. There's more towels and sheets and stuff. What's this though? Okay, that's a single stitch shirt right here. See that? Single stitch. And yeah, Bob Marley. It's got stains on it, but that's pretty neat. No tag. Tag's long gone. That's a nice piece right there though. Let's find more of those. That's the kind of stuff I want to find. Vintage one single stitch. Oh boy, this is folded up like it's a rag. OP. It is falling apart, but I, I swear if we go to the if they open that vintage flea market again, this will sell for ten bucks. They are funny out there. They like that stuff. They like it to look old and almost at the end of its life. It's like a status symbol. That one I don't know. Okay, that was that. Okay, check it out. I'm up here just trying to move stuff around because I kind of want to get to that black case right there. I want to pull that out. I don't know what it is. I just don't really want to leave it here unsecured because if this were to get broken into, now that I've exposed it, someone would be able to get in here fairly easy and uh, grab it. This is good right here. Bee babies. We found a few boxes like this already. Yeah. Cases. We're going to be selling tons of those tonight. All right. Now we have some more. So that means next week there'll be more in our auctions. Ah, bummer. I see rats burrowed through the boxes up back here. That means there might be some food back here, and that sucks. Oh, that doesn't suck, though. There's a whole nother bit of baby, Beanie Babies right here. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> okay, we'll go through that after. Oh, there's nothing in here. It's way too light. I think this is a gun case though. I don't think this is a music case. I think this is a gun case. You see it's got like a big horn sheep on here. Maybe you can't see that, but this is no guitar case. Dang it. Yeah. Alright, there's the key. Pretty nice gun case though. Uh well, I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> I know again. I know again. Cry me a river, right? Cry me a river. Boo hoo hoo, Jack! You really... Oh man, there's some mattresses back there. All right. Well, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that. And I see, I see mattresses there. So. Yep. Sweet, 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 sweet. Okay, so we've got a bunch more Disney's and Beanie Babies. Disney plush and Beanie Babies. What's this, guys? This piece. Peace. Yeah. All right. There's a lot more of them here, guys. This is fantastic. And then there was this, this beanie, not beanie babies. What are they, beanie something? I don't know. I found some earlier. I just forget them already. USA. Nice, right? Really good. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be a wrap. 
a wrap, a wrap. I gotta go get something to eat and I gotta go home and prepare for our live auction which starts in just a couple hours, right? A couple hours of fun's gonna start. That'll be all over by the time you see this video, but don't worry, there'll be another auction next week and some of the stuff coming out of here will most, most likely make that auction. The further back I go, I'm a, I must say, I'm just a little disappointed, a little bit, just because I see more furniture, I see mattresses, I see a washer, maybe a dryer. It's not what we want, we want more boxes. We want endless boxes, but the bigger stuff, it, it it's taking up a lot of the space. So that means our box count is going to drop uh, quite a bit and we're gonna get to the end of this a lot faster. I'm not complaining because we have had a fantastic journey. This locker, in hindsight, was cheap. $1,510 plus fees. This locker was extremely cheap because of the treasures we've already found. And there are still a good amount of boxes. Who knows what we're gonna find in there, all right? Well, you will find out in the next episode, which will be out soon. But until then, good luck to you, God bless you, and we'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts. Uh, let me give you a little look at the van, actually, before we go. Before we really, really go. Um, pretty good. Pretty good, right? Uh, it's not full, but this is a lot of stuff to knock out of this unit today. Definitely took a little bit of a load out. And a lot of the boxes back there are going to donation. I'm going to stop there on the way home.